Hey everyone, welcome to App GH Format Videos uh, Season 9. In this series, we're going to talk about uh, why do you need SMSS policy and using which how can you control request and response in uh, App GH. Myself, Anand Sagar, I work at Google and App platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need App GH account. You can sign up at appg.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of uh, API proxy. For that, you can refer earlier format videos. Let's talk about uh, why do you need uh, a policy like a SMSS policy in Apache Edge. Let's say you have a backend system which is built uh, over the period of time and uh, you want to modify the API behavior like changing the request or changing the response without changing any code in the backend. You can able to do that in Apache Edge. You will have full control of request and response. Let's say for example, whenever a request comes into Apache Edge to uh, uh, API proxy, you want to modify the request before you send the same request uh, to the backend system. Similarly, whenever a response comes back from backend system, you want to modify the response before you are sending the response to the client. And also sometimes you want to create uh, some new variables in the request or response that will be used in other policies and RPG Edge. Sometimes you want to create a new request objects or similarly new response objects to make an API call to different backend system before you actually hit the backend that is configured in the API proxy. You can able to do that using SNMSS policy. So in short, using SNMSS policy, you can able to control the request response objects in AppG Edge and modify them before sending it to the backend or before sending it to the client. Let's see how SNMSS policy works in action. In this simple hands-on uh, session, we're going to see uh, how SMSS policy works by quickly creating a simple proxy. I'm going to click on plus proxy button and I'm going to use a uh, simple HTTP bin uh, API as a backend endpoint. I'm going to name my proxy as a send message uh, demo one and the base path as v1 slash uh, assign message uh, demo. I'm going to use the existing API as HTTP bin dot org slash get. Click on next and choose authorization as pass through. Next and build and deploy. So once the proxy is deployed, uh, navigate to the proxy overview screen. As you can see, when I access the uh, this particular proxy endpoint, I just uh, get back uh, the response, which is a call request. Let's say uh, your backend expects a query parameter called uh, foo is equal to bar and you don't want to take this uh, a particular request from the client and you want to always enforce this query parameter. You can able to modify the request in RPG Edge using SMSS policy. For example, adding query parameters or adding form parameters or adding headers. Since we want to modify the request, I'm going to attach SMSS policy to the request. So click on proxy endpoints preflow, click on plus tab, click on uh, assign message policy. So we're going to add a new query parameter that is injected in RPG Edge. So I'm going to remove everything except uh, add and add a new query parameter. So I'm going to add a new query parameter. So it's query params. Query param name is equal to foo and value is equal to bar. So we are injecting uh, an query param in apg edge uh, and uh, even if client is not sending, we are injecting an apg edge. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to make a same API call here. As you can see now, there is a foo bar, but we are not actually sending the query parameter, but apg is injecting in API proxy using SMSS policy. So that's how you can able to leverage SMSS policy. Stay tuned for more videos to see in depth how SMSS policy works in Apache Edge. If you have any questions, please post your questions in community.apache.com. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to YouTube channel to get notified if any videos in future. Thank you.